a touch radical in that when we do the double, I might want to get a sound that's a little like grosser. Yeah. I am outside the studio right now. Uh, we're gonna record album number seven. Title is not picked yet. We're gonna pick the title in the studio. I have some good ideas of what it could be, uh, but we haven't decided on it yet. Very excited. Uh, could barely sleep last night. It was like Christmas. Oh my God, if you, if you know what I mean. So well, these songs are so easy, Bob, that we were able to play them three times in a row. All hummingbird, hummingbird, ten. And it only takes us like three hours. We'll see. Because there might there might be some tweaking that might need to be happen. The way it works is, we got the songs. We bring them to the studio. We're at Flying Blanket Recording Studios right here in Mesa, and uh, with Bob Hoke, great friend, great producer, uh, great collaborator. <laughs> So we got these songs, we know what they sound like, the rock basics, the, the bones, you know, just like, it's like, yes! Then we hand them over to Bob, Mr. Bob Hogan, and he turns it into something. See what this is. Oh, it's rock It's fine. <laughs> sound good? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I think that's kind of the vibe we're going for, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful. Just like bring something, we bring something to the studio and it turns out way more incredible than we thought, which is fantastic. A touch radical in that when we do the double, I might want to get a sound that's a little like grosser. Yeah. <laughs> Like this is really good and it's rocking and everything, but like, you know, it has that pretty classic like tight Marshall sound. I might want, maybe we might want to use a Fender or maybe even a different amp that's like breaks up in a grosser, gravelier way that sounds less controlled. Yeah, I like that. Yeah. Does that make sense? Okay, so we're in the drum, drum room, the drum room. Got my boy Elvis. Constant inspiration. Metallica, love Metallica. Danzig, uh, some of you may recognize from our Flesh and Blood video, used in the back. Ghost from the Boys, of course. Always inspiring me. We tracked two songs today, which is great, because the majority of the time was just setting up the mics and getting the tones and picking out instruments and whatnot. Did you guys watch that New Twin Peaks? No. Uh, it's wonderful, but it oh. is batshit insane. Insane. It's probably, it might be the craziest thing David Lynch has ever done, which is saying <laughs> Put this one right here. One of the guys will be singing in here. You're in number one, well, your scratch vocals in number one, your guitar's in number three. Bass is in number two, drums are in the top left corner that says drums. Cool. Bob and Did you? Oh, okay. Yeah, we have some. Non-action extra figures. Where should we put this? I'm having a hard time. Oh, yeah, I got this one. <laughs> <laughs> so that's cool. We did King Prowler. <laughs> and Pleasures of Evil. Jimmy, uh, Jimmy and Bobby just hang your last chord, and I want you to crash, but we... Oh, you want to make it longer than it was. That's longer than it was, but maybe that's a good idea. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, if we're going to do that, Jimmy, hit an octave halfway through, like... Check 
Christmas. First day. Note that in the history books. And uh, yeah, our dad came and hung out. <laughs> Always great um, to have him around. Now I'm back home, ready to do it tomorrow. Hell yeah.